Hey there, and welcome to Crochet Therapy. I'm Barbara, your host for this tutorial of the Garden Row Dishcloth. And the reason I'm calling it the Garden Row Dishcloth is because look, these look just like little garden rows, and these are the plants just coming up. So in honor of summer, we are going to create this dishcloth in honor of the gardens that grow in the summer. It's really easy. The items that you'll need, a pair of scissors for the end as always. Um, the hook that I'm using is an H hook and this is my favorite clover hook um, in the Clover Amour. And then of course you'll need a yarn needle for the end and our yarn. And I'm using, uh, at this time I'm using the Big Twist cotton yarn and this is the Michaels brand of cotton yarn. Um, this particular yarn is 85% cotton, 15% polyester. That is the lowest um, quantity of cotton in the yarn that I would use for the kitchen. So this one passes the test and so let's get started. This is in a really nice red colorway. And then this is a really, really fun um, pattern to make. There is the garden rose on one side and then on the other side look at this really pretty pattern. Is that just gorgeous or what? So both sides are very interesting. This side alone would be just an amazing pattern but then when you add the garden rose side it's just incredible. For this pattern, you will need to know how to do the front post double crochet. And um, so if you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I will show you. You may wanna practice um, a little bit before you start doing this, but trust me, this pattern will give you plenty of practice. And after we do our first couple rows, it is easy peasy. First thing you'll need to do is a slip knot and make a knot however you wanna make a knot. It's fine. And then we will chain 32. Okay, we have created our foundation chain, 32. The first row, we are going to skip the first chain on our hook, skip this on our hook and skip that first chain, go into the second chain and create a single crochet and a single crochet in the next stitch and all the way down to the end. Two more stitches left in the first row. At the end of the first row, we will chain one and turn our work. Row number two is exactly like row number one. We will um, do a single crochet all the way down. However, we will skip this first single crochet. So. Skip that first stitch, go into the second stitch, and do a single crochet all the way down to the end. Okay, when you get down to the end, don't forget to do a single crochet in that very last um, chain stitch because that um, does equal a stitch. So always remember to get that very last stitch in your row. Once we get done with that row, we are going to chain one and turn our work and on to row three. In row three, what we are going to do is after we chain one and turn our work, we are going to skip that first single crochet on this row and every other row we are going to chain one at the end, turn our work, skip that first single crochet, okay? Skip the first single crochet. We are going to single crochet in the next stitch 
Now, in the next stitch, what we are going to do is we are going to front post double crochet in the next stitch. So we have skipped one, two stitches, okay? And in the third stitch, we are going to front post double crochet. So we see this is the first stitch, this is the second stitch, and this is the third stitch, but we are going to go two rows beneath. So not in the row that right below what we were working. So here's one, two, three, and one, two, three. Two rows below and three stitches over, we are going to front post, double crochet, yarn over, put your hook through the front, bring it through the back and all the way to the front. We are going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that is a front post double crochet, two rows down, okay? Now, what we're going to do is look at the top of our stitches, okay? So we did a single crochet right here, and then this is the stitch that we did the double crochet, okay? So we're going to skip this one and go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. Always skip the top stitch that coincides with that, with that front post double crochet. So the next stitch we did a single crochet. We're going to do one more single crochet and then we are going to do another front post double crochet into the stitch two rows below. So here's one, one, two, and here it is right here in this stitch. We're going to grab it like this, yarn over. Oh, I'm sorry. We are going to yarn over, grab the stitch like this, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that is a front post double crochet through the single crochet two stitches down. Skip this stitch right here, oh, skip this stitch right here, and we are going to single crochet into the next stitch. So basically the one that is hiding behind this front post double crochet gets skipped simply because that coincides with that stitch. So single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then again, we are going to front post double crochet in the next stitch. Now this is the most difficult row, and I'm going to tell you why, I'm probably finding out why, but it's the most difficult row because you have to make sure that you are truly going into the second row and three stitches over from the, from the last one. So again, here is the stitch that coincides with the uh, front post double crochet and I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch. We are going to follow this pattern all the way down so here's the front post double crochet right here. And I'm going to skip, skip, because we did two single crochets and I'm going to do a front post double crochet in that next stitch. There we go. And this will be the next single crochet, single crochet. And then we are going to do a front post double crochet in that stitch. There we go. And then I usually like to make look take a look back and that's the next one so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet, single crochet. And here's two posts. It's this next post. We are going to front post double crochet in that next post and then single crochet, single crochet, front post, 
double crochet in the next stitch. Now remember to go two rows back, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, now take a look. This is the front post double crochet, single crochet, single crochet. So this is the next post, okay? It makes it easier if you try to keep everything spaced correctly. Um, otherwise, it does get a little tricky on this first round. And we're going to go all the way to the end. Pause where we need to. Once we get this row done, we will be doing great. Okay, so this is the beginning of it. You can see the pattern. This is the beginning of the pattern, okay? So I just did one single crochet. I'm going to do one more single crochet. One, two, and I'm going to do front post. There we go. And then do a single crochet. And then I'm going to make sure that I go into this side post and do a single crochet there. I'm going to make sure that I have two single crochets at the end of each row. Okay. Now the next row is easy. We are going to single crochet all the way across. So um, chain one, turn your work. We're going to skip this first single crochet and single crochet into that second stitch and all the way across. Let's do that and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, and I'm coming up to the end of this row and I'm going to make sure that I get into that last turning chain because I want to make sure that I have every stitch that I need. Okay, so this is the back side. We are going to chain one and turn our work. Now, this is where it gets fun, okay, because this is a two row repeat pattern once we get the foundation made. And so the foundation has been created. Now we get to do our two row repeat pattern. So we chained one, turned our work. We're going to skip this first stitch. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Then we are going to front post double crochet into the front post double crochet from below okay so we've skipped two well we've not skipped two we skipped one did a single crochet and then a front post double crochet into this stitch and we are going to single crochet single crochet in the next two remembering to skip the uh the open stitch that was corresponding with the front post double crochet. So then we're going to double crochet right into this stitch, okay? And this is what makes it so easy because once we get that foundation started, we can easily slip right into the front post double crochet from the row below, from two rows below, and we can just continue that pattern. So we're going to make sure that we skip this stitch and go into the next stitch to create a single crochet. 
two single crochets and then a front post double crochet right into here okay skip that one go into the next one and do a single crochet single crochet and then a front post double crochet into the front post double crochet from two rows below this actually gets very fun once you get going because it's so easy you don't even have to think about it really you just do two single crochets and then a front post double crochet into that post below and because you're doing it into the front post double crochet from two posts below you are having a really easy time finding that post because it is raised okay just be sure that you skip that corresponding stitch let me do a single crochet single crochet and front post double crochet single crochet single crochet front post double crochet single crochet single crochet front post double crochet see the pattern so easy so easy as long as you make sure that you skip that little stitch otherwise you'll get extra stitches in there and you won't know what to do all right we're almost at the end so we're going to do a single crochet and let me make sure yep there's that stitch so i'm going to do a single crochet in this one single crochet front post double crochet Whoop. there we go skip that one and do two single crochets make sure you get into that last edge stitch even though it's a turning chain you'll want to make sure that you do that and look look at our pattern coming together so what do we do at the end of each row in this pattern chain one turn our work now I told you that it was a two row repeat pattern on the back side when we're working on the back side and we don't see any front post double crochets that is the row that we are just going to do single crochets all the way across again skip that first single crochet that first stitch go into the second stitch and make a single crochet and single crochet all the way down until you get to the end and we will do another row of front post double crochets together just for kicks and just to make sure that you have this pattern down. And this is the end of that pattern. It's two rows, two rows of repeat. Single crochet for the back and front post double crochet for the front. I love the way this pattern works up. The back is so pretty. The stitch is so pretty. And the front is really so easy once you get it going. It is so easy. Now, let me tell you this, they call this pattern an intermediate pattern. Now, I think I know why, Whoop, let me go back. I had a strand that got loose on that one. Um, I think that it is because it can be difficult to do a front post double crochet when you are just going two rows below into a post of a single crochet post and I guess that that is just a little trickier than you know doing just a straight single crochet or just a straight double crochet however let me make sure I get this stitch right we want to make sure that we get the stitches right so that and I always make sure that I go into that end because if you don't then you'll start to go in and it will start to go in and out and in and out like that because one row you'll do it and one row you won't. Okay, so this back side is done. And look at the nice little pattern that's coming up with that. I just think that this is such a pretty pattern on both sides. Chain one and ta-da, 
turn your work. <laughs> Look at this pattern coming up. Now, because you're making a rib here, um, it is going to want to curl and that is normal. Okay. So what we're going to do when you get this completely done and you are going to make however many rows you want to make in order to create a dishcloth. And really it depends on how, um, how much yarn you have and how, um, wide you want to make this, um, because, uh, this particular one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 ribs, which means that, um, there was at least 28 rows, um, probably about um, 29 or 30 because we had um, definitely one to two rows to start. Um, so then what I did was a two row single crochet all the way around that helped calm this pattern down because what I've noticed is patterns that have um, raised parts to it like this one and also um, like the last one that I that I showed you the basket weave that uses the front post or back post double crochet those tend to want to bend the material but see if you add that single crochet border just go around single crochet single crochet twice do three single crochets in each corner each time you go around, one for this side, one for the corner, and one for this side. Just as a general rule, do that and you will be fine. Um, and then when you come around the second time, in that um, corner stitch, do another three single crochets. One will be for this side, one will be for the corner, and one will be for that side. And continue going around. As long as you do three single crochets in that edge stitch, you will be fine. And these corners will be perfect. You won't have a perfect square, but you know, in dish claws, we don't want to have a perfect point all the time. We want to have a nice soft edge. And that is what happens. So let's get going on this two row repeat and let's do this one more time okay so here we have it we have chained and turned our work this first stitch right here we are going to ignore we're going to skip it and we're going to go into the second stitch from the hook and create a single crochet one single crochet that's it and then we are going to front post double crochet and go down to that front post double crochet and connect into that. And then we are going to skip that stitch and go into the next stitch and do a single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, front post double crochet. Okay, skip that stitch, go into the next one, single crochet, single crochet, front post double crochet. So the trickiest part really is the beginning and the end. So as long as you follow the rule, when you get to the end, chain one and turn, skip that first stitch and do a single crochet in the next stitch. Now that single crochet in the next stitch counts as two. And we have two single crochets between each rib. So make sure that you don't go any further than that. You skip the one, and you do a single crochet and then you do a front post double crochet, okay? So we have single crochet, single crochet, front post double crochet. Now, sometimes it doesn't look like it's lining up. Let, I'll show you, single crochet, single crochet. Now when I'm holding it like this, does it look like the next one is going to be a front post double crochet no don't be fooled follow the pattern okay I promise it works front post double crochet will then correspond to this next stitch okay and see how nice and straight they are see how nice and straight they're going so I promise it works okay and so we are going to make sure that we skip that 
one that corresponds with the front post double crochet. We're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet, single crochet. Yep, I need a little more yarn. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet. Okay. I'm going to give it a little peek. Single crochet, single crochet, front post, double crochet, single crochet, single crochet, front post, double crochet. See how easy that is? You know, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do an intermediate pattern because if you are following this along with me and you are getting it, no matter how many times you have to try it, you are an intermediate crocheter. Single crochet, single crochet, front post, double crochet. And you rock, let me tell you, you rock it. So we wanna make sure in the ends and the beginnings that we have the equivalent of two single crochets at the end. We wanna make sure that we have the actual two single crochets. And at the beginning of a row, we wanna make sure that we skip the first single crochet because the chain one will count as the first single crochet. So we're gonna do a single crochet, and then we're gonna go into that edge chain and do another single crochet, because we wanna have two at the beginning and two at the end. We'll keep a straight row, and our garden row is turning out so pretty. Look at that. Guys, if you enjoyed this pattern, show me what you do. Show me your makes. Go on to our Facebook group. The link is down below and post your photos. I absolutely love to see your photos of your work. So keep going. On this pattern, two row repeat, the next row, we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to skip that first stitch and go into the next stitch and do single crochets all the way across just like before. So one row, single crochets, and then the next row, two single crochets, one front post double crochet, two single crochets, one front post double crochet. And remember, we always skip that first stitch that counts as a single crochet. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this pattern and show me your makes because I would love to see them. Stay safe, be kind, and let's get hooking. And let's get making this really pretty dishcloth, the garden row dishcloth.